and boxes, the outdoors, gear and equipment, and other fun things and places. Before we get started, hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Ding! We got Battle Box! And Happy New Year! Well, thank you for that amazing introduction, Miraculous Girl. And uh, Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, so today we are going to be unboxing Battle Box Mission 83. And uh, I'm going to take a little drink when I do this one. Um, so uh, Battle Box Mission 83, it seems to have started off the year uh, with a very controversial box. Um, We've had many discussions with John Roman, the CEO, uh, in the Battle Box spoiler group. And for those of you that don't know, we have a Facebook group that I run called the Battle Box Spoiler Page and Other Outdoor Stuff. And uh, I'm sorry, I haven't been posting as many videos here. I had some that I pre-scheduled. I have been out with the virus that shall not be named. I don't want to get flagged for giving out any kind of misinformation, but I'm going to touch on that. But uh, yeah, we, um, so I haven't really been posting uh, a lot. I've been, I just, a lot of things going on. But uh, we're going to try and, and get some videos down here in the next couple of days. Uh, that said, uh, I'm also going to do something a little different in this particular unboxing. And if you <laughs> don't uh, want to listen to me prattle on about things and just want to see what's in this box, uh, go ahead and I'll, I'll kind of list a time of when uh, actual unboxing starts here, which is, yeah, I'm not going to talk that long. Anyway, um, but one of the things, I, I was going to touch on a few subjects about different things, and one was shipping. Uh, I get my, oh, mine's been coming UPS uh, SurePost. When it comes sure post, it usually takes, I'm going to say, around seven days for me to get mine, seven to eight days. I get mine in a post office box, so that kind of adds a day to it. But that way, porch pirates don't steal it off my front porch. Um, when it came uh, FedEx Smart Post, I think they call theirs, it seemed to take about three days longer for some reason. I think FedEx was slower. Um, and... Uh, Whenever I would get things from BattleBox or anybody else through the USPS, it comes very quickly. Uh, that said, I ordered on Saturday, today is January 14th, on Saturday, January 9th, I ordered this item uh, right here. Now this came from, <coughs> excuse me, this came all the way from Germany. I've cut my address out of there. Uh, but yeah, this came all the way from Germany, and I ordered this on Saturday, January 9th, and it is here, and today is um, uh, the 14th, January 14th. Uh, so this came from Germany. Now, I did pay for shipping on this, and this item, uh, I'm gonna do a demonstration video, I'm gonna do an unboxing video, uh, this item was in one of current 1776's uh, YouTube videos, but it was not a featured item. Um, and uh, we are going to look at that item and uh, and see uh, <laughs> what you all think. I'm very excited about that. Um, and I may even open this up toward the end of this or in the middle or something. Uh, anyone who's been watching the spoiler group, this item has been really talked about a lot lately. And everyone seems to be fascinated by this that we got back in mission number 20. Uh, the Battle Box tarp in the uh, shelter building. I think this was in an advanced item or something like that. Uh, they may have to uh, find a new one. This was a great tarp. I used it in like 40, 50 mile an hour winds one time for shelter. And the Miraculous Girl and I, and it worked great. And one other thing before we get started, I was going to mention Battle Box is a monthly subscription box. It has four subscription levels. The Basic, the Advanced, the Pro, and the Pro Plus. <coughs> I believe, excuse me, that the prices are $29.99 for the Basic, $59.99 for the Advanced, $109.99 or it may be $99.99 for the 
Pro and 149 or 159, I, I forget if they went up or not, for the Pro Plus. Um, I believe it's it's 149.99 for the for the Pro Plus. Anyway, that's the pricing structure. It's four levels subscription box. If you want to know for sure, if you plan to order it, uh, go to their website and check it out. Anyway, so I'm going to move this box because of the size of it. I'm going to move this box off to the side, and we're going to get to opening it up. But I'm going to open it up, and I have not opened it yet with last month's knife of the month. This beast, I forget. It, it's by Fox Edge. It was called the I don't know, it started, it was a weird name, with the Akula or something like that. So, well that tape's all broken, but this is not. Gosh, I hope that is. Uh, this is a lockback folder with another lock in it. Set that to the side, and then we'll set this to the side. Get all situated here. And, uh, before we get started, Another one of those. All right, so we got our mission brief. Now, for those of you that don't know, BattleBox is a monthly subscription box. Uh, it has four tiers, starting at the basic, to advanced, pro, and then pro plus the knife of the month. This is mission 83. I'm not going to read you the whole book. Uh, it always has a nice picture. I like the mission brief over the mission card. Uh, I said... When uh, the suggestions for naming this came out, I suggested Mission Briefing, uh, but they went with Mission Brief. But I was pretty close to actually uh, picking the name for this, which was kind of cool. Um, you know, the company's really great about interacting, and I've actually personally spoken with John Roman. He's a great guy. Um, anyway, so that's our Mission Brief. Actually, I'm going to set this over here, and we'll go into the first item. Ah. And the controversy just never stops. All right. Okay, so this is Black Rifle Coffee, just black, $14.99. That is the retail price of this coffee. That is what this coffee is going to cost you no matter where you buy it. Um, I have never seen it for less than $14.99. Uh, I have a, a subscription to Black Rifle Coffee, and every month they send me a pound of coffee beans. This is already ground, but normally I buy whole bean. And so anyway, um, I, I have a monthly subscription uh, to this, and it costs me $14.99 a month. And I can say one advantage to having the monthly subscription is every month I get a really cool sticker from them also. Other than that, it doesn't matter if you buy this in Cabela's. It doesn't matter if you buy it in from Black Rifle Coffee. You buy it on Amazon. You it's fourteen ninety nine. That is how much they charge you for it. Um, so anyway, I like Black Rifle Coffee. This is just black. I've had just black before. I like the medium roast. That's what this is. Medium roast. I've got dark roast, light roast, and uh, lately I've been doing espresso as well. I have a, an espresso maker. Um, so, uh, now, why is this controversial? Well, there was some sort of controversy involving Black Rifle Coffee and some press releases involving it um, regarding the Kyle Rittenhouse incident. Uh, and, you know what? It's funny, the people that want to support the American flag and... Uh, the right to freedom of speech, uh, and we're big supporters of, of Black Rifle Coffee, and now they want to condemn that company because they don't like the opinion they may have gave or didn't give or support they didn't give or, or whatever it may be. But that's what the Constitution's all about. That's what freedom of speech is all about. And yes, you have the freedom to not support that company. This company chooses to support <coughs> veterans. It's a veteran-owned company. I believe Brandon Curran is going to be releasing a video, if he hasn't already, uh, in, a, in an interview with the president or CEO of the company. And um, I really just don't understand the hate on an American company that employs veterans, that helps veterans. And if you don't like something they did, hey, write them and tell them I don't like something you did. But does that mean you need to go out and start publicly bashing this company? I just, I, you know, I'm sorry. I'm against that. And that's my opinion. And, and I'm entitled to it. And if you don't like it, then... Um,
So that's Black Rifle Coffee. Just black. Hey, I also got some uh, coffee the other day from a company called um, Hollow, Point, Hollow Point Coffee. Uh, you know, and I got a coffee cup from another subscription box, and in that coffee, that bottom of that coffee cup said made in China. And then, but I hear from all these same people, uh, oh, I, I'm not going to buy their products because they're, they, they, they buy stuff that they, they may have their stuff made in China. You know, okay, well, what company does it? You, everyone is saying that's using a cell phone that was made in China. I, you know, again, okay, this is why I don't talk about politics. All right, next item. The outdoor element uh, carabiner tool. All right, this was kind of cool. Um, and it's got some amazing zip ties. Zip tied so tight, there's no way I'm going to be able to get a knife underneath them. I need some sort of wire clipper uh, to clip this open with. Um, mm, wire clippers. Uh, you know what? Maybe scissors will work. Uh, we're going to have to go with the Swiss Army knife. I have a 30-year-old, uh, <laughs> at least 30 years old, uh, Explorer. It has the magnifying glass, Swiss Army knife, Victorian knife. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, this does not have the pin in it. Uh, and look at that thing. It's almost pristine. Um, uh, I really think that... Uh, Battle Box should look into getting a special edition Victorian Knox Swiss Army knife um, made and they can pick any model or even have a special tool set set up for one uh, and it could go in any level. I know there are people that may be against that and think it's a kid's knife but I love my Swiss Army knives. Um, so it has oh a little cutter in here. Doc P was really ragging on this cutter because he was saying that it wasn't sharp enough and that it needed to be sharpened. Alright, so I have some brand new glow-in-the-dark 550 paracord. Don't know where I got this. Uh, that I'm going to give it. You know, and Doc P, he claimed that this thing was dull or needed to be sharpened or something, but I personally kind of think Doc P has it in for BattleBox for some reason because I think he gets more views by saying negative things. Uh, this thing works just fine. Let's, I don't know, that's too small to grab on to. Let me pull out a strand here. Uh, so I have something to work with here. And we'll have to find something to melt the end with it before it unfrays itself too terribly much. There we go. Alright, so we got a strand out here. We'll try it one more time. And you just pull through. Now that one took a little bit more work than the first one. Uh, it feels, to me it feels sharp though. Okay, well, it pulls through. It takes a little bit of effort. It's not razor sharp, but, uh, and I don't know on something flat like nylon. I don't have any nylon webbing material that I could cut through, but anyway, so that's the seat belt cutter, but if you've been subscribing to BattleBox for any length of time, you have seven seat belt cutters in your car by now. So, <laughs> just saying. It does have a little protective cover on there. There's some little... Oh, that's to hold the cover on. The little nicks. <clears throat> it has a window breaker right here. And there is a little tab in here. And it does put out a nice little spark. That's pretty cool. Uh, hangs. You know what? <clears throat> I'd like to see somebody combine this with the Hero Clip. I really do like the Hero Clip. Okay, and it does have a couple of wrenches here. It has an O2 wrench, and it has a, a quarter-inch hex bit wrench. Um, 
which reminds me I'm going to be doing a, another video. Here, I've got a new one, but this is an older one. Uh, <clears throat> all of these Ranger Grip style Swiss Army knives have a built-in uh, quarter inch hex bit drive, which is what your standard bits use. And um, I'm going to do a video on where that is and how you do that. Anyway, so that's the uh, Outdoor Element Fire Escape Tool. Uh, so I guess because you have a fire striker attached to a carabiner and stuff. And there's been a few of those. And this does include a couple of the flints. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so so far, as you can tell, I'm, I'm okay with the basic box. Uh, there were many times where I, I did drop down to basic. So next up, we have a humidifier. Now, um, I'm going to kind of insert um, a little picture or maybe even do a little quick video of my knife storage cabinet, which is a metal cabinet, metal toolbox style cabinet, and I'm going to put this in there. Um, and it, even though it's multi-drawer, I think if I put it in the bottom cabinet, it'll probably circulate throughout the cabinet. I live in a drier climate, but I'm not always going to live in a drier climate. Um, but this would also work great in a gun safe, um, and places like that. Um, so I'm, I'm not mad about that. Yeah, you're not going to take this in the woods or anything, but hey, it, it is what it, what it is. Uh, and uh, I'm not mad about getting this item. I'm going to take it out of the, in the frame here. Uh, where I plan to put my humidifier. I have this toolbox I keep some of my equipment in. A uh, little funny note here. Uh, this, I'm working on it. It's, it's got a little bit of an edge on it now. I'm working on it. But this is a Harbor Freight hatchet I bought for maybe $7. And I watched Felix Amar, however you say his name. Uh, this is the same one. I bought two at the same time. And this was what I've done so far. I watched one of his videos and I'm working on reshaping that. And this is the same handle. This is the same handle. I've done some sanding to it, drilled a hole in it, obviously, taken off the coating, and uh, we'll see how it works out. I got the materials and equipment to put it all together. You know, uh, I do I need it? No, probably not. I got this CRKT fryer. Love it. Uh, here's a CRKT Tomahawk. Uh, this leather here is from an old shoe. Uh, so, anyway, put it right in front up here. And uh, help with any potential rust issues. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, um, different knives and whatnot. Box. And these three items come to a total of, let's see, this is 15 bucks and this is 15 bucks. So that's 30 bucks. That's the cost of the box plus 27.50 for this fire escape tool. Uh, 27.50 is the retail on that. Now, MSRP. Um, I like this. This is pretty quality. I wonder what the weight rating is on this carabiner. I wonder if it has one. 125 pounds. Huh. Gear only, not a person. Um, okay, so Miraculous Girl, you cannot use this for mountain climbing. Uh, this carabiner. Let me see. You can't use it for mountain climbing because it's not rated for that. Okay? Why not? Well, because it only holds up to 125 pounds, but it says it's not for people. It says gear only, not for people. So if your life is hanging off the side of the mountain, we don't want to use this. Got it? <laughs> All right. So that's our basic our basic box. Um, and, um, you know, I, I don't think the basic box is a bad box. Now... Uh, the next up is the Gray Man Tactical Gear Organizers. Um, 
And this, you know, wow, this is actually pretty solid. I'm kind of surprised about that. Um, these, uh, I was not thrilled at first when I heard about these. And then uh, I started thinking about it. And uh, these are going to be good. I actually have some molly hanging on the wall for knives. And um, these will work on a lot of different things and it might be a good way to store pouches and whatnot. Um, you know, if you store, if you use spacers when you put them on a wall, a closet, uh, different, different types of things. Um, and, and that's kind of cool. Uh, these come with some Velcro straps. Uh, this comes with Velcro straps. This one's designed for that back of a headrest. And I actually, I, you never know. I'm, I might even mount this in the car. I'm just not going to put anything out, you know, uh, an open pouch uh, where a miraculous girl could keep pencils and stuff that she writes and things of that sort um, on the back of the headrest. That actually might be something doable. Um, okay, yeah, so uh, I, I'm kind of uh, thinking outside of the box there, sorry. I'm going to, uh, after I pull out the next item, I'm going to uh, pause the video and uh, strap a couple things to these things um, just because. And, um, but now, one of the reasons, and this item's listed at 50 bucks. Now, I've, it's my understanding this was in another subscription box, and it could have been in Barrel and Blade or something like that. I don't know. Um, and I can tell you I wouldn't pay $50 for this. I absolutely wouldn't. I, yeah, it's a nice thick piece of plastic. Um, but, you know, you want to complain about MSRP. And I suppose that's probably... And people were talking about they were going to buy... And it patent pending. Okay. Um, but the thing I don't like about this is that I got another bag of straps and another piece of the same item. Um, and this is just a much, much bigger one for a seat back. <coughs> it has a couple different strapping places. And of course, I'm sure the straps are longer on one than they are on the other. So that said, uh, that's my disappointment is I just don't like getting two of the same thing uh, in a box. Uh, there is an instruction sheet on how to mount these on there. And see, I don't care for the way that goes around my headrest because now when I put my head on it, I'm going to have Velcro stuck to my head. Yeah, not a fan of that. So there's that one for the headrest one and an instruction sheet. Gray Man Tactical and their information for the seat back one. Um, now, again, you don't have to put them in your car. Uh, you can put those anywhere you want. And uh, right here, we're going to pause for a station identification. I'm just kidding. Uh, we're going to pause while. All right, so I am back. And what did I just do? Well, let's zoom out a little bit. I attached a couple of little bags to the back of this. Um, as you can see, you just weave things through and Velcro them. I didn't snap the snaps on this one because it was getting difficult because it's full of stuff. Uh, but I snapped them on this. Uh, and the reason I'm showing this, and although to a lot of us this may be really basic and you weave these in and out through the back here on how this and you see they stay on fairly well on how this goes in on this but the other day in one of my groups and it might have been my group or it might have been another um there was a, a per individual and i i don't want to call out gender but the person was asking what SHTF meant they they and at first uh, people and it might have been a prepping group or something and and people were being uh, a little bit sarcastic but I just answered the question uh, 
Actually, somebody else answered the question and, and gave the definition of SHTF. And then uh, her next question was, well, what, what, what do you mean by that? What, what is the explanation for that? And I gave a more definitive answer of, you know, a natural disaster, the apocalypse, uh, and different things of that sort. Uh, things in which you may, may be an emergency. And I think a lot of people misunderstand the whole SHTF scenario. Uh, as I mentioned in my last Battle Box video, unboxing, I was in what I would consider one of those, uh, which was the uh, eruption of Mount St. Helens. Anyway, so I just wanted to kind of show, you know, with Molly, it weaves in and out of the back here but you you braid that in with something like this and then this is also good with uh, I think uh, certain gun accessories as well uh, firearm accessories it will uh, you can uh, attach them because of the thickness and the rigidity of this uh, you can also attach uh, certain uh, types of um, uh, weaponry to this and then also uh, you have some there it is you also you have you can purchase different types of straps to use with this stuff as well there's a few different kinds uh, that I've gotten over the years. Ooh, here's my cable ones. I got those from Battlebox once. All right, so uh, yeah, so there's a lot of different ways to utilize something like this. So I'm going to set this aside while we go into the next item. And oh, look! Uh, all right, next we have even more controversy. Uh, the tech tech toe uh, the tech toe on the side of the box it says made in Portland Maine of the US and imported parts and then in the back it says which it's a sticker that says contents knife sheath manual made in China so I don't know if that means just those items were made in China or if the whole thing was made in China. I'm going to see what it says underneath. Uh, it says net quantity one underneath the made in China sticker. But it says knife sheath, knife comma sheath comma manual made in China. Oh, also that's contents though. Knife. So, um, there's that. Now, the knife comes with a nylon sheath with the company name on it. it has some bungee, little Velcro. Um, has a pocket clip. Somebody mentioned in the group that their pocket clip was broken. Mine is not. Um, Doc P always wants to look at the centering. And it seems centered to me. We already know that the Damascus on here is fake. And it's not trying to claim it's Damascus. Um, because right out of the gate, it says it's 440C. It says drop point, but doesn't really look like a standard drop point to me. G10 scales, G10 steel. Maybe steel is the coloring? G10 steel handles. I didn't think G10 was steel. Okay. Uh, it's got some weird little cut out there. Nice little design. <coughs> um, Flips nice. 
the lock seems solid. Um, the blade, I mean, we know it's printed. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's a cheap knife, but uh, you put it in a display box, it actually kind of looked kind of cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it does. Uh, it's, it's, it's not flipping closed. Hey, Miraculous Girl, you want to get me a piece of just regular uh, white paper, please? White paper, got it. Okay, well, I mean, the lock to me is secure. You saw me flip it. Oops, missed. And the lock, to me, mechanism is secure. I'm not worried about it closing on itself. Um, I don't normally do all the Doc P testing, and I didn't see him do it. So maybe I maybe he didn't maybe he did I don't know, um, but um, let's go ahead and go ahead and waste some more of our glow in the dark paracord. Just one piece, thanks. Okay. All right, so Mariah Girl brought me some paper. Uh, let's paper test the sharpness. Okay, I can't complain about the sharpness. on the knife. Looks like they kind of trying to use the Marvel Comics Punisher logo. So you guys all saw that. Now uh, we'll do a a slice test. No. Okay. <coughs> I am not a expert on how this, okay, now we're going to do a pull through. So the way the pull through works is you're just pulling straight through. Okay, it works better than the outdoor element thing does. Uh, let's do one more pull through on this. Almost cut myself just now. All right, so, uh, <laughs> you know, as far as edge is concerned, it's nice. There's no chips in it. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, however, the controversy on this blade is not how well it works, but how much it costs. Uh, it's listed here at ninety nine dollars in the in the uh, in the brochure for the MSRP uh, and um, Doc P did some detective work on it and uh, he determined that it uh, was ooh, you know what <laughs> this is still sharper uh, <laughs> it. Uh, I want to do a slice on this because that was slicing uh, through even nicer, I have to say. Sorry, funny side note. Um, I'm trying to keep this hank of paracord somewhat in its normal, uh, original <laughs> type of shape here. So I'm going to do another paracord test. We're going to do a slice. so big I have to use it more. Uh, there's no way I can be able to slice that. All right, let's do another slice. And then we'll do a quick pull through. Wow, all right, so uh, yeah, this thing works better. <laughs> but this one's not bad. Um, you know, I said I probably wouldn't carry it. I don't know, I don't really like that pocket clip, but um, 
you know, I, I actually, I wouldn't feel bad about losing it if I could replace it for 20 bucks. Um, Cause it's sharp enough. Uh, if someone didn't know it was a twenty dollar knife, uh, you can really fool them. <laughs> but uh, it is listed, uh, I guess, on some special knife websites or something. You can it's rebranded through another company, or I, I don't understand all the details of it. I can just tell you that this knife. MSRP is not $99 based off of what we learned off the internet and from Doc P's video so I got to give a shout out uh, to Doc P not that he ever would watch my channel or anything like that so anyway uh, that is mission number 83 oh wait a minute I mentioned I was going to uh, maybe give a little bit of a teaser about this item here that was mentioned in recent battle box videos like I said this item here uh, we saw it in a reveal uh, and um, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, I'll show you in the unboxing uh, here's the name of the company from Germany that sent me this and uh, they just got super props uh, as well. All right, cool. We're going to do a follow-up video uh, with an unboxing of this item right here. Um, cool. And uh, who knows? When I, and I'll do a demo on that one tomorrow as well. Uh, and maybe we'll even go back and talk about this. Uh, everyone thinks is a spoiler or an upcoming leak. that, But this, this, this tarp came out in Mission 20. Uh, anyway... Um, so, hey, go ahead and give us some comments, uh, you know, uh, be nice to each other. Um, I, I don't care if you like Black Rifle Coffee Company or not. Um, I don't get anything from these videos. I can tell you, I've been in their store, I've talked to their people, uh, Miraculous Girl and I drove all the way to Utah trying to hunt down Brandon Kern. I'm kidding, that's not why we were there. But, um... And uh, we went to Black Rifle Coffee headquarters. They were nice people. And I don't, it bothers me to see people trying to deliberately hurt somebody's business because they don't agree with something they said uh, and or didn't say or something to that effect. Um, even when it comes to the virus, I don't understand people that, I've, I saw somebody belittling a person for wearing their mask outside. Um, the guy had his arms full, he had left the grocery store, he had his mask on, and, and somebody decided that it was his place to tell him that he was outside now and he could take his mask off. You know what? His wearing a mask isn't hurting you. Uh, if you believe in freedom, doesn't he have the freedom to make his own choice and wear a mask if he wants? Uh, I just don't get some people's attitudes about it sometimes. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it for today. That's Mission 83. Like I said, I was going to kind of break the rules a little bit and talk about things I don't normally talk about, uh, and I did. Uh, now I'm probably going to go back to just kind of trying to be non-political and just uh, unbox stuff and review stuff. Uh, so, guys, thanks for watching. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Uh, and remember, be nice to each other.